Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razek at CM Trading. Today is March 31st, 2021. And today is Wednesday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, Bitcoin looking to push higher, finally getting that momentum on the upper level. But first, no major economics events scheduled for today. But remember, Friday is NFP for the month. So looking at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, the euro continuing to trickle down versus the USD. But the question is, is it looking to actually consolidate at this area? Now, the indices, the Dow Jones tapers off from its highs, while the Nasdaq remains unchanged in terms of commodities, gold trading lower to that 1780-ish level and oil gaining this morning. Now, in terms of the stocks, it was a mixed bag. We'll take a look at that individually. And lastly, looking at Bitcoin, as mentioned, continue to push higher. Will it break to new record highs? So we'll take a look at that and other things in just a second. So we're going to start out with the daily of the euro USD, and it did continue to trickle down another 50 pips yesterday, as you can see that that's further declining. Now, real congestions comes around this area. OK, this 16 ish level, we're about 70 pips away from that. So in all intents and purposes, we're still on the daily, at least we're still on support ish level. Now, looking at a four hour chart, it does look like it's consolidating here. And if it does break this eight day moving average and somewhere it gets between this 30 day and eight day moving average, this may be a point of consolidation for it as this is looking to change its course. Now, looking at the GBP USD, it did perk up, okay? A little bit stronger, as you can see, above its 30-day moving average vis-a-vis -vis the euro. Now, jumping in commodities, gold trading at that low, 1678, and look at that beautiful just setup there. As it hits that level, uh, 1678, bouncing off of it, we're right now at 1688. I still don't like it, okay? What I'm saying by that is that it's still looking quite, weak relatively to where it's trading in right now. Now looking at oil, which is doing the reverse, $61 a barrel, just pushing that higher after our sell off from last week. Now in regards to the indices, the Dow Jones hit record highs yesterday at 33,000 ish level. Okay, just tapering above that area. Now we're about 200 points away from that on the downside. And we are going into NFP this week. We're also going into a further stimulus package from uh, the Biden administration. So there's lots of things coming out right now. So this may push higher or may correct itself. Now, in terms of the NASDAQ, didn't go higher. Look, it's flat. It's flatlined completely. This whole move higher where where the Dow Jones made it higher, where I would have expected this to be at 13,800-ish level, we're trading at 12,900. So with that said, this is relatively a very weak index compared to the Dow Jones, okay? Now, this could be attributed to many things. As remember, last August, it was the tech stocks that led us higher to record highs, and then it was a rotation back to the Dow Jones. So it could be that they're taking turns, so to speak. Okay, I don't like that terms because, you know, there's money being pulled out from one and being pumped into the other. So you have to see how the stimulus package is actually going to benefit the market on the floor. Now, looking at Alcoa, this is inching higher. Okay, this did gain, whereas JP Morgan did not gain yesterday for its high. So we're seeing a little bit of a divergence here with some of the major components of the Dow Jones. Some of them are going higher, but some of them are not. So it's a little bit of a questionary place to be right here at these levels. If we look at the tech stocks, they were down. Apple, down. If we look at Facebook, down. Amazon, down slightly, but down. Microsoft also down. So, you know, the, the tech stocks are showing quite weakness in this environment. Okay, now looking at Bitcoin, this is where it's happening. You see that push higher. Okay, we're getting up into that RSI, above that RSI. We still have some room to go here. If this continues with some volume and umph, which look at that. Okay, what I'd like to show this again is that it took two or three days to sell off. OK, and it's taking four days to rally, which is fine. OK, but it's it's nevertheless, it's rallying at the top of the range. But I'd like to see this break higher with some volume. OK, that would give me that 
confirmation that we're going to go higher. And remember, our all-time high is a 62,000 or 61,500-ish level, and we're only about 1,000 or 2,000 points away from that. So, you know, relatively for a $61,000 um, symbol, that's a small amount. Okay, all intents and purposes. So with that said, just keep an eye on this. If this does continue and does come out and get the confirmation with the volume, we may see new record highs. This is Fred Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.